careful. Try not to get too crazy with it in case it ends up like the the dedeo dedeo sword. And uh, anyway, we got all kind of Hanway stuff in here. It's honed. It's just honed to a, a, like that. Pretty nice. Let's see, we got the uh, lamp. We got the made in China, down in China, uh, Hanway certificate. I mean, a little sticker thing. Why doesn't it have a blood groove? Because this one is called No High, No Boat, No Um, No Bo High. It's 5160 high carbon steel, uh, wrench U, Katana Moko. And there's another one called a Maku Maru, Marunshu Katana Maru. And they're like the um the Raptor series. Rapture. Uh, Raptor series. Yeah. And this um has a suede type of um on the on the um Saya, the, the suka, whatever you want to call it, I forgot the name of it. Hilt. But this is not cotton wrap, this Call is suede wrap. Well in Japan it's called something else. But we're in America. And it's got like a plain um, Kashira or whatever you want to call that. Habaki is plain brass. Made in China. Got a nice sound to it. So this this is 5160 high carbon steel. And the other one is 1055, cold steel is 1055. Now, from what I understand, being as through heated, through um, through hardened, this is supposed to be a pretty tough sword. Katana. I'm sure. See, so you well, can grab this thing. You got. You pretty much got. I got big hands. You pretty much got three hands. You can. This is like two and a half, three, three hand and grab. Not like we all have three hands. <laughs> Speaking of which. Hopefully not. So. I should have done this warmed up. Bank cut in a few days. Took the head. Hey. You're cutting the blue. What the heck are you doing? See, I hit the barrel two times. Because did I didn't warm up and didn't do nothing to it. I stepped on a rock. Come on, man. Why are you cutting it like that? This right here is the paperwork that came with the um, the Renshu Moko. Um, how to um, for adjusting the fit of the samurai sword in the scabbards or the seiya. Um, gives you step by step uh, introduction there and uh, how to put a shim in there to make a good fit on the habaki or uh, yeah the habaki I think it's called. And you know what they use for shim or glue, whatever. And you can see the emblem right there, Cassandra. And uh, here's the back of that. Um, figure four showing how it should fit. And you know, I'm not, not fortunate. I think I did that. Ooh, but be careful, I might split it. It came out fine, but then I tried to put it in there, it was tight. Then I tried it again, then it went in there. So I might have cracked the darn thing. I gotta look at it here in just a second. Um, see here, always exercise caution when performing maintenance operation and on an edge sword. They are very sharp on both cut if not handled correctly. That's right. So be careful. And so here's another page. Instructions of how to uh, achieve a good fit between the Koguchi and Habaki. And 
just about file it down on the inside there. A little file and everything like that, you know. Talking about not forcing it at all. And here's the uh, thing about the uh, maintaining your katana with the uh, rice paper and the uh, little ball thing majigger and the kaguchi oil, I think that's called. I got one of those. I don't know if I still got oil. And um, how to take it out and all that and other. Put it on your stand and whatnot. And all this here is your um, cloth cotton powder ball, uh, sword oil, rice paper, and brass hammer for removing um, the bamboo pins, the manuki, I guess it's called. And this right here shows, and that's my invoice right there, shows the um, how they make the hand wave blade and stuff like that and really graphic little pictures there uh, I hadn't really had time to read it all but I will so I just got a hand wave Hanoi symbol there with a uh, dragon um, I guess the convergence of CAS and Hanoi or whatever so American Sword Company well before I wrap up everything I want to show you a little bit more uh, referencing the cold steel with the um, Moko here, the Rinshu Katana Moko. And this is Kaas Hanway, and that's uh, cold steel. Now, if you can see the difference, it's, um, I don't think I got that right. If you put them suba to suba, the ed, you know, edge to edge of the subas, you see that there's like an inch or more or something like that of um, uh, suka here. So it's a little bit longer and it's a wider and the formations of the diamonds are a little bit different. And I think this is both, this is also ray skin, ray skin here, but it's, I think this is plastic, I heard somebody say. And this is a pretty simple design. This one's got the pitchfork and the shovel. And you can tell that, see this is still a sharp sword, I'm telling you. The cold steel, I had that a few years off and on. And definitely the um, Moko here. But if you look it all the way throughout here, and if I take a knife, you can see the difference in the Kasakis here. Cold steel has a longer one, more modern approach. And the, um, the Moko has the shorter, more traditional approach. But, um, let me take this right here, show you how long the Kasaki is. It's about that long, using this knife as a point of reference. But, of course, it's got high, the fuller boy, and this one doesn't. And if we see, I took what I did, and when I got through cutting the jugs, I cut a couple of limbs with this. It's got little fibers and stuff on it from the um, scabbard, the uh, sea and there's no nicks, no rolling, or what have you, and uh, uh, whatever was on it, I wiped off pretty easily, and cold steel sword here, it's um, been used quite a bit, you can still see the scratches on there, and things of that nature, of course I haven't tried to cut a, um, a pretty sick jug with it when I was reunion air jugs, but, you know, it's just lasted pretty well. It took a lot of abuse, and I didn't abuse it that much. You can see how the, uh, let's see here. There we go. You can see how there are a couple of nicks in there. It might be just a little bit of rolling. You can tell that one's very prominent right there, right here. So that's a definite. But mostly through all that, it's a pretty strong, tough sword, I tell you. And again, you can see the thickness right here. If I can stand it up, I would. As compared to the thickness of the um, of the uh, Moko, Rishu Moko. There's a difference in the thickness for sure. Let's see. 
You can see it's a little bit thicker, for sure. But um, anyway, I haven't really put that um, this katana through its paces just yet, and I really probably I'm not really looking forward to doing so. I'm just probably the tougher stuff. I still might use a cold steel sword, even though this is pretty tough. Um, 5160 um, steel, high carbon steel. But it's a little bit thinner too. I'm afraid to cut on things too heavy like I have with those jugs. Because uh, I've seen what happened with um, John Walker. John Walter, what his name was. How the Kasaki was rolled a little bit. What have you. So I'm kind of scared about that. Pretty apprehensive concerning that. So. Anyway. I did notice the. Um, where was it at? Whenever I got it, it had a couple of, uh, as it might have been in like a vice grip or something. Can't find it now. Anyway, it's pretty shiny, isn't it? Got a nice spine to it. But anyway, there was a little bit of a uh, deep set in, uh, maybe rust or something, or just coloration. There it is right there. Right here. Right where that glimmer is. You can see it right there. I didn't put that on there. That was already on there. Low battery. Anyway, just wanted to show that off real quick. I know it's going to be a pretty long video. But um, maybe a longer review is what we need. Being um, these are... Well, Cold Steel is the best products, and Hanway is the best products, so maybe we need something a little bit longer, you know? Somebody to really get in there and do longer videos to see where their money's going and decide whether to, huh, maybe I want to get that, maybe I don't. And so I'm just trying to help in whatever way I can. And you see the difference in the, uh, the sales. If you put this end to end right here, you see the difference there. So it comes up pretty short there. If you remove this and remove that. So anyway, just thought you might be interested in that. Whoever might want to watch or what have you. So I noticed a little bit of yelling there. Huh, that's telling me something. Anyway, we'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoy it. God bless.